So today I'm going to show you something brand new from Sonoff. This is the Sonoff Zigbee Hub Ultra and it's got something quite different under the bonnet. Let's have a look. So big thank you to Sonoff for sending me this device, but this is not a sponsored video, so you're going to get all my own opinions. So the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Ultra is something quite different to a normal Zigbee Hub. And let's have a look why. So what they've done, they've actually included in the system a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU along with one gig of DD4, DDR4 RAM and eight gigs of eMMC storage. So this is obviously going to have more functionality. So it's allowing up to 256 connected devices. That sounds amazing. And they're saying up to 200 meters of coverage. Wow. Sounds pretty impressive. So what have we got here? We're going to be able to connect Sonoff Zigbee sub devices to this bridge. Now do be aware it will not connect other type of Zigbee devices, only Sonoff ones. And then it can connect to other hubs and things either via Meta with Wi-Fi or over a wired Ethernet connection. They do also talk here about voice control. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to come in future software upgrades because I can't seem to get anything functioning with voice control as yet. Yeah. Now, it does have this alarm functionality built into it. So it's got some basic smart home or automation things that you can do with it. And I'll show you once we get into the device itself. So looking at this new Sonoff Hub, this is way more sexy than what the old ones were. So it's this really nice, smooth and shiny plastic surface. On the back here, you can see we've got our USB-C plug going in there. We've got our RJ45 and our pairing button. On the underside, we've got some little rubber feet and we've got the speaker input over there. Um, on the front side, we've got our flashing LED. So you hold down the little button for three seconds to put it into pairing mode. So to hook this device up, we just hit our plus button and we go scan. And then we bring this along and we just scan it over that little QR code at the back there. Add device, next, next. We've pressed the button for three seconds. Yes, and now it'll search for that device. And now search for our Wi-Fi. So it's searching for our Wi-Fi now. There we go. We've got our Wi-Fi. We select that and we go save. And away you go. It's all ready to go. Within a few seconds, you'll see that our device is all set up. And then we can start adding our sub-devices. So there we go. So adding our sub-devices is super simple. We just go add and then we press the little button, hold it down for three seconds. And then, there we go. Now we just go next. And we now have our motion sensor added to our system. We just go back there. We can now easily create an alarm. So we can just go and press the away button mode here. And there's no sensors currently added to that system. We can just go set. We can add a sensor. And then we've got our little alarm system already set up. We can carry on adding more and more devices. We can get a siren coming directly from this alarm, but it can also send us alerts directly to our phone. So if I have a look here at my Meta devices in Home Assistant, we can see here that we have the Smart Home Hub. This is the one. And we've currently got four different sensors that are connected here. So we can see we've got our door and window sensor there. We've got a motion sensor. Uh, we've got a button and we've got a temperature and humidity sensor, all pulling data through to Home Assistant via Matter. So I thought yeah. I'd give you a little bit of a look inside this device. It's pretty easy to open up. You just remove these four little rubber feet and then the screws behind that come out. And then we can just open up the device like that. So looking inside here, we've got our little speaker over there. And if we let that come down like that, we can then have full access to the circuit board here. So you can see this is way more complicated than a standard little Zigbee bridge like some of the other devices. So having a look at this, we've got quite a lot of circuitry there and quite a few chips involved. If we look around this side, 
we've got this metal casing and I'm not going to open it up but I've looked at some of the other videos online and we've got even more components inside here. So as you can see this is a pretty impressive looking device and I'm pretty excited to see what's going to come of this device with the future software availability or the software changes that will be coming down the line. Well that's it for having a look at this pretty interesting new little Sonoff hub that's just come off the marketplace. So that's all for me this week. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.